Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's a massive day on EAFC 24 because the full game is released worldwide. Everybody is finally on the game. And of course, it is Road to the Knockouts promo day today. The first real big promo of the year drops. And we're expecting big things from SPCs, objectives, and of course, the cards and packs, which guys... EA have already leaked. They've dropped the cards in the game in concept. So we're going to take a look at all the promo cards we're expecting to see today. And of course, talk a lot about the market. How are these cards and all the packs we're going to get today? Shake things up. If you're excited for the day today, drop a thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's really quickly go into yesterday's content real fast because there is a little bit to talk about and it leads us into our market portion of the video today. First of all, we had a player SBC, the first, or I guess second player of the month, but the first Bundesliga player of the month, Victor Boniface from Leverkusen, three-star, three-star, got a really big upgrade from his silver base card, and it's only an 83-rated squad. Guys, honestly, if you have extra 83s in the next month that this SBC is available, you might as well just put them into this. I personally think that's a better SBC for 83s than the lone base hero player pick, because you're guaranteed the card, you can use it for fodder in the future, and it's not a loan. So there was that SBC yesterday. It's a kind of a mid card, but it, of course, is a fun card for sure. Some interesting squad building opportunities with that one. And we had marquee matchups as expected per always on Thursdays. Marquee matchups, really big market impact. This SBC with the tradable packs dropped the market a lot yesterday. And I want you guys to check your clubs for Barcelona and Sevilla women's players, specifically the Sevilla women's players, because they work for this SBC. Men and women from both of those clubs work in the player requirements, but the women's cards specifically from Sevilla were selling for like nine, 10,000 coins yesterday. They might be a little bit lower now, but check your clubs because of that. And of course, the market was moving like crazy. A lot of cards went down big time because of all that supply that we had yesterday. We're gonna talk about that in a second, but first, Let's get to the promo that is on hand today by looking at the players, guys, that are actually leaked and they're in the game. Full cards, dynamic images, and everything. Upgrades on these items. Erling Holland, four-star skill move boost. Three-star weak foot still in his card, but his base gold, of course, is 3-3. Three, three. They've given a card already the first day of Ultimate Team, released to the world, and they've already do, done a skill move upgrade for Erling Holland. They've given him a massive plus one. They've given him plus two pace. Guys, this is a disgusting card. Think about it as well. These are live cards, right? If City win two matches in their final group stages games and also qualify for the knockout rounds, which you would imagine would be an easy box to check, this is going to a 94 overall Holland in the course of, what, the next month and a half? A 94 Holland in November on this game is going to be crazy, right? That is a crazy, crazy card. It's going to be so expensive today. I also expect gold Erling Holland to go up a lot because he's going to be out of packs, and this one's going to be crazy, crazy expensive. Now, to the rest of the team, Victor Osimhen, three-star, four-star, also a big upgrade for him. What a dynamic image, and of course, potential to upgrade for him as well. A lot of these cards, I don't think, got huge changes in play styles or an additional play style added. Maybe one or two of them have had them added inside of that, but that's a really great card for him. Bruno Fernandez, another one on the team. Four-star, three-star, high, high work rates. He's got one of those same play styles that KDB does. Play style plus for incisive pass. He's also got pinged and long ball pass as well. That's going to be a very, very good card in this game. A big upgrade for Bruno. And of course, getting a little bit higher pace stat. Now, another midfield card, DePaul. This one looks like it's going to be more of a budget option, but still very overpowered. Almost hull it gang besides the defense. Four-star, three-star on his card as well. Really solid all around. Potential for good upgrades. And keep your eye on this Conrad Lamer. I used his gold card in the start of last year's ultimate team. He was so good. 81 pace, 83 defending, 81 physical, and he also has a playstyle plus for the block playstyle plus, which this guy looks like an absolutely insane center defensive mid. We have some Byron links like Harry Kane in Team of the Week. So that's a card I would want you to keep an eye out for. And now we move on to another one. Bukayo Saka, four-star, four-star, insane boost here. Gold card, 86. This card, an 89. Other insane boost that we have in this team. Luis Diaz getting a plus three. Look at that card, man. Wow, 93 pace. 80 passing, a plus 5 from his gold card, 90 dribbling. Bonucci, we've got Kalulu in here. We've got a Brazilian right back in Dodo. We have got uh, Openda with 94 pace and a 4-star weak foot for him. That's a crazy card. We've got Edin Dzeko, Mertens, Huth, 
Weaver, uh, Pedro Gonsalves, and Machado as well, as well as Benucci as a part of this team. Guys, it is a full team of players, and a lot of these are really big names. Saka, Bruno, Luis Diaz. This is a W first day promo for sure. And remember, all of these cards are live. They're not going to get upgraded very soon, but with Champions League matches, Europa League, and all that happening this upcoming week, there's going to be a lot of hype for these cards in the upcoming days. Now, also, EA released this promo video yesterday, first giving us a shot at a couple of cards, and it actually does reveal a couple of additional cards that are going to be coming out in the RTTK promo today. If we move through this video a little bit, you see there's the DePaul item that we see in game. The next one that they show is a Dortmund item. It's Geo Reyna, 84 rated Geo Reyna. We believe that he is going to be an objective or SBC. Foot Sheriff has leaked his card as an objective is what he is saying and not shown in the video, but also talked about as an objective or an SBC. This seems more like an SBC in my opinion, Bruno Guimaraes. Now, in yesterday's video, I think we looked at Bruno's card, or maybe it was on the stream yesterday, and he was leaked as just an objective. That's a crazy objective. Guys, I think this is going to be our SBC today. What's with EA dropping a lot of Premier League midfielders, right? The KDB SBC during early access, and then now this Bruno Guimaraes, two Prem midfielders there. But that's going to be an SBC potentially, that a lot of people would like to do. Big name, a lot of hype. Of course, Newcastle in the group of death, so an upgrade here is a bit risky if you're going to spend the coins to do this SBC, but we'll have to see what the price is. And they're giving some of these cards some pretty big boosts, so maybe they'll give that Bruno Guimaraes a pretty big boost as well. Now, one little bit of an Easter egg or a teaser as a part of this trailer is this portion right here. After they show Gio Reyna, they show some players from the women's Olympic Lyon side. That is Basha. The left back uh, that is very overpowered, very good in game. Um, and a lot of people thought she was going to be in the team. She does not have a card in the side. I looked in concepts. There's nothing there. Is this a little bit of a hint or an Easter egg at maybe her getting an SBC or some sort of card? Maybe not today, but at some point during the promo, I'm not entirely sure. At, as of right now, we only have one Women's Champions League card, and that is Hooth from Wolfsburg and then of course it goes to the end and shows us the Erling Holland card which is exactly the one that we see in game and uh yeah that's the basically that's the video from them but it's crazy that these cards are already in the game and it's crazy that we already have the players here with their actual dynamic images and stats and everything let me really quick check for Bruno Guimaraes because I didn't check for him before but let me see if he has a concept player in the game as well he does not see it's different like for the cards that are in packs it's weird um, I think some people are already playing with these cards in Foot Draft as well, but we don't have the Objective Reyna or the SBC Bruno Guimaraes. Those are the leaks, by the way, so not 100% confirmed. We don't have those in the game like we do the cards that look like they're going to be in packs. Now, how are those cards going to impact the game? Well, first of all, hopefully the servers don't go down, right? Because on this day, almost every single year, we see the servers go down just because everybody is excited to get on the game. There's so many players in the game. And it just kind of all comes to a point where the servers can end up handling all the players that are on Ultimate Team at that time. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. But with this promo team looking so good, guys, I think EA is going to get a lot of people to open a lot of packs. Now, a lot of people save their Division Rivals rewards. A lot of people are going to be opening store packs today. And EA have store packs coming into the store today. All of these packs are expiring. The 175, 275, they're going away. I'm expecting play, uh, packs like this, though, that are tradable, kind of like promo packs, not quite lightning rounds. I expect packs like this to come back today, as well as more packs like the 175 and 275K packs. They just might be called different things, right? There's a Nano Season Opener pack, an Elite Season Opener pack that contains 45 rare gold players rated 80 or above. That's even bigger than the Elite Starter pack, which is 30 players, 81 or higher with three guaranteed to be 84 plus. So I don't know if that's going to be um, a more expensive pack than 275K, but it might be. Again, in this these pack, um, like this pack guy, guys right here, these added ones, ignore the right side. This stuff about the rare players pack and then on this page about like the icon pack, ignore that. That is old, that is wrong. The stuff on the left is what has been added to the game. There's not a base icon that's been added in. That is not it. It's only these packs over here. So a lot of store packs have been added. They're all untradeable and they're all very similar 
to the Elite Starter Pack, the Essentials. It's basically these packs right here. If I was opening FIFA points today or FC points on this game, I would stick to the tradable packs, guys. Honestly, stick to the tradables because you're going to get coins and the market is really going to start to take off a lot today. I think that's how the, the market's going to be impacted after a lot of people get on and open packs for this insane promo team. You're going to see people go out after that and go and buy cards. Now, really quickly before we move on to that, watch these promo cards in the first hour, especially because there's so many big names like Saka, Osim, and Holland. And even on some of the cards that you would expect to be a little bit cheaper in there in this team that look really good, like Luis Diaz uh, as well, keep an eye on those first couple of minutes. Honestly, the first 20, 30 minutes of these promo cards, since they are live, people will think, okay, Saka might be a good investment right away because he is going to be you know, a card that potentially gets upgraded multiple times as Arsenal, a decent draw, and they could very easily get all the upgrades throughout the group of Champions League, right? That's where people's minds are going to be, and people will be investing straight away today in those cards. I'd be careful with that, but there also might be opportunities to flip them and trade with them over the weekend as well. So watch those prices. But for the rest of the market, you guys might be wondering, like, Nate, we've had the market crashing now for the past three days in this game. Is it finally going to go up? And I have good news because I think it is, right? This is the day we've been waiting for, honestly, for a lot of these cards that are almost like Nkunku right now, as cheap as they were in the first weekend last week when there was like nobody on the game. And Nkunku was 73,000 coins in his low point, went all the way up to 100K and is now back down to almost the exact same spot. If you've been holding since you bought here, GG's for holding because today is probably going to be the day where you start to see prices go up. It's almost inevitably going to be the day because you're going to have so many coins and so many players come onto this game opening packs and they're going to be going and buying the best of the best. Guys, I think the market's going to end up doing really, really well today on the middle to the top here. I'm talking cards that are pretty expensive. I'm talking your cards that people can't afford right now, but after opening a lot of packs today, they're going to be able to afford right now i'll be a little bit careful here with the gold vvd gold vvd's out of packs i know i'm searching him up the mad ready vvd is in packs i would be careful with the gold i think gold vvd is going to drop today being back in packs and then go up later but a lot of cards that have been super duper low for these past couple of days i think later on today on friday after the content drop you will start to see them go up where guys like rashford guys like bellingham and kunku usman dembele those are the top tier highest echelon players they should be rising after tonight i would also include in that list heroes and icons and even some team of the week cards right maybe not team of the week two as much because they're going to be in packs today but keep a close eye on team of the week one because some of these cards are still pretty rare and if they do get panic sold i think there's a great opportunity to see those prices go up later on today as well but not all cards are going to do that good guys a lot of cards are going to be mudded Cards that are going to get mudded today. Cards like Alex Balde. Cards like Gavard the Ol. Cards like this that are 83, 84 rated and below are probably going to get packed a lot from all those packs in the store, especially the tradable ones. Since they're lower rated, they have a higher pack weight. Their prices will probably drop around the time when everybody's opening packs, right after the road of the knockouts come into packs. And after that, maybe Gavardiol goes from like, I don't know, 20,000 coins like he is right now. Maybe he goes down to like 13, 14,000 coins and then comes back up to about 20K because he's still a pretty popular card that a lot of people would be buying for some early on teams. That's the sort of fluctuations I think you might see today on a lower tier card. For a guy like Konate, I'd be careful with. Um, you know, Chameni, I'd be kind of careful with, even though he's 84 rated. Guys, it's the lower tier stuff that I would be uh, very careful with. St. Maximin is another card that I would probably steer clear of, right? He might dip down below like... 10k today maybe go to 8,000 coins and then rise back up a little bit but over time it's the low rated like we've been saying that don't stand the test of time because people upgrade past them so quickly like mickey vandeman has been our top example and he's already been dropping right he was 19k now he's down to 10,000 coins and he's 78 rated he is gonna get packed a lot today so be careful with that focus on what is the most meta rare popular if you're trying to buy cards for your team and think about what everybody else has been buying right some of the cards that i've been trading with right now have been some of these cards people are buying for evolutions you see i have some danjumas here i bought some of these cards yesterday um i do think that there could be some panic selling before we actually get to the content drop today on this game so if you have a card like maybe a messi or rafael leao 
um, or if you're looking to buy something along those lines, because the promo looks so good today, I wouldn't be surprised if we had a few drops even before we get to Road to the Knockouts and the actual promo dropping in the game today. But even then, uh, whether you buy before the content drop on a card like this or whether you wait to buy until after and try to get a snipe and try to get an undercut, realistically, on a top tier card like that or a Messi or a Rashford, or a Neymar, you're buying in the low period. And I think today is going to be sort of the end of a low period for a lot of cards. And you will probably see prices rise back up throughout the weekend. And that's why today is a decent day to be looking at moving some of those coins into cards or a team and holding on to those cards, getting on that division rivals grind, playing games, right? Because we all have to start getting rewards. We all have to start playing the game and progressing however far you've gone already towards foot champs next weekend. Right now I'm 780 out of 1250 qualification points. So once you get those qualification points, then you can qualify for the weekend league that is next weekend and not this weekend. So it's gonna be a crazy day on the market, guys. There's gonna be fluctuations all the way around this game, up, down, sideways, like everywhere, man. It's gonna be a wild day. So buckle in, have fun, good luck if you're opening packs, and hopefully, we get some good SBCs and some objective content as well. If there's not much to grind, which I would imagine EA is going to give us some stuff to grind. But if there's not, that would kind of leave a sour taste in our mouth. But with the way that it looks and these cards that are in packs, I don't think EA is going to disappoint for the first real promo Friday of FC24. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and tell me who you want to pack out of the promo team today out of this team. I would absolutely love to pack. Of course, I've already packed Osaman and Luis Diaz untradeable that are in my main team. I have dupe theory for those guys. EA, I would love some pack pulls along those two guys right there. But there's so many players, I think we'd all love to pack at least one today as a part of the new promo. So again, check us out in the Twitch stream today, guys. We'll be trading. We'll be watching the game, all the content, reacting to it, and having a blast today. That link is down below in the description. And I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate to put a count and see you guys there. Peace. Out.